Believe it or not, bad roofing jobs are actually a lot more common than you think. All you have to do is go on Google or on YouTube and type in bad roofing job or bad roofing contractor or bad roofer and take a look for yourself. The reason why people do this is obviously because they want to save money. The homeowner wants to save a few hundred, maybe a few thousand dollars, and they end up hiring a contractor who will ultimately cut corners. Now, I'm not saying that you cannot find a contractor who will charge you way less and still do a great job. But the problem is, is that if something does go wrong, the homeowner now not only has to pay the original contractor, but they're gonna have to hire another contractor to fix the problems or the damages or the issues that the original contractor da, da, did. Oh my God, can't speak today. You know what I mean. So you might end up paying double. Okay, so let's start off with the obvious signs of a bad roof. Mismatching shingles in color or design. So this is often an indication that the roofer ran out of materials. And instead of ordering new ones, they might end up reusing old ones or spare ones that they have. And when it comes to design, this means that the shingles are not in the right alignment or they kind of mismatch. That is another obvious sign of a cheap contractor. Quality contractors would never do this. They would make sure that they would have the right quantity of materials, the right type of materials, and of course that everything is done according to building codes and warranties. So everything will be perfectly matched, looks exactly the same, and is beautiful. They would obviously make sure that you have the right quantity, the right type of material, and that everything is structured correctly. All roofing materials should be brand new and pristine, not reused and or recycled. Number two, more than one layer of shingles. Okay, this is our sign of a really cheap job. This one is a little bit tricky because on the outside, the roof may still look actually quite good, but it does not fix the issues underneath the shingles. This literally means that a roofer, instead of removing the original materials, the original shingles, and then putting fresh ones on top, they literally put an extra layer of shingles on top of the old shingles. Consequences of this means that your deck has a high risk of rotting and or leaks. Not only that, but the worst part is that your shingle manufacturer can actually decline your warranties. Number three, the roof is missing drip edge. Drip edge is really important because it keeps the water moving in the right direction, which is obviously away from your home and your roof. A missing drip edge can simply lead to mold or rotting of your roof deck. Okay, so now let's talk about the not so obvious signs of a bad roof job. So when it comes to roofing, it's not just about the aesthetics what you can see from the ground up, but it's also about what is going on underneath your roof. For instance, number one, exposed nails. Now, nails actually need to be sealed. This is because it prevents rusting and basically water seeping in the gap. So even if the leak may just be a little trickle, over time it can actually build up mold growth, water damage into your attic, water damage in your insulation, so on and so forth. Number two, not sealing or installing flashing correctly. So flashing is a thin piece of metal that is installed on the roof around the valleys and penetrations. They simply prevent water from leaking into your roof from various angles and joints. Now, to, to install flashing correctly, you have to make sure that there is underlayment and that the shingles are cut in such a way that will allow the water to flow away from the pipes, chimneys, and penetrations. If this is not done correctly, it can actually increase the chances of leaks and, of course, of rot. Number three, reusing flashing materials. A quality roofer, of course, will always use brand new materials. But apparently, it's pretty common for some roofers to reuse flashing materials, 
which of course it's a really bad idea. Now here's the thing about flashing. This is a thin piece of metal so of course they can rust, they can bend and break and simply put not be as durable or protect your roof the way that they are supposed to. Number five, roofing materials were not corked correctly. This type of damage is completely preventable. When you hire the wrong contractor, they basically will not be attaching things the correct way. Simply put, it's because they do not follow building codes and building codes are there for a reason. Number five, missing underlayment. Underlayment plays a big part on your roofing system. It's a felt-like material that is placed underneath your shingles and above your decking. Underlayment is an added necessary layer of protection. So if it's missing or if it's not placed correctly, you will simply experience premature damage on your roof decking and of course possible roof leaks. Number six, bad ventilation. Ventilation is absolutely essential for your roof. I have made a few videos on this topic, so I do recommend that you hop onto a YouTube channel and check them out to get a more in-depth understanding as to why they are so essential. So if a roofer doesn't fix or replace your box vents, your ridge vents, or your turbines, it can really cause havoc for your roof. Not only that, but it's a big red flag. That's it for today, guys. I hope this video was helpful, educational, and informational. I think that's pretty much the same thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Show us some love. If you would like us to give you a roofing quote or a solar quote, don't forget that you can go to the description box below or you can go to our website for more information. Have a good day.